President Trump is more than prepared to cut Social Security benefits across the board. But what would motivate a sitting U.S. president to make such a drastic budgetary decision? According to Trump he feels that slashing Social Security benefits and programs should be done from a moral standpoint. He must have fairly questionable morals. If Trump is successful in cutting Social Security a large percentage of Americans will be negatively impacted. These cuts could cost retirees basic monthly income benefits, health care, prescription care and even take away benefits given to minors who have deceased or disabled parents. How is cutting these programs morally correct? Trump's cuts would be the basic necessities of millions of Americans in jeopardy and have a detrimental impact on his own Republican Party. Trump is simply wrong in his belief that he is doing good. Even early on in his campaign for president, Trump was of the opinion that Social Security had to be overhauled and slashed. Paul Ryan and Trump discussed the issue in 2016. According to Bloomberg, Trump stated the following to Paul Ryan, from a moral standpoint, I believe in it cutting Social Security. But you also have to get elected. And there's no way a Republican is going to beat a Democrat when the Republican is saying, we're going to cut your Social Security and the Democrat is saying, we're going to keep it and give you more. So what did Trump tell the American public during the presidential campaign? That he would support and try to improve Social Security. But since the passage of the Republican tax cut bill it's hard to say what programs won't be cut. Right now Americans are simply scared of what may be the outcome. Working Americans continue to pay into Social Security and many count on the retirement benefits as well as the social and health care programs to stabilize their finances during their golden years. If you are young enough you can plan for an uncertain future, but those approaching the age of retirement are in a different boat altogether. And why? The politicians that Americans have voted into office are making decisions that will ultimately cause them to possibly flounder later in life when they should be enjoying their retirement. If this is done at the hands of the Republican Party, then the Democrats have little to worry about in upcoming elections. Again, if this is Trump's definition of a moral decision, how can he be trusted to make appropriate choices regarding issues like national security? Time will tell, but the outcome may be apocalyptic for us all.